What's up guys, welcome back to another video. Today, we're going to be doing Cyber Crypt. Cyber Crypt is a dungeon uh, located pretty far north, and um, once the Christmas update kind of leaves, this is going to be probably one of the better garden spots in the game. Um, and this is only because the zombie bow was recently re-enabled back in this dungeon. And this allows you to solo this dungeon, and there's not really a good guide out there for it, so I thought I would take an advantage to do that now. Um, so we're going to head and try this. So obviously to do this dungeon uh, solo-able, you need to have a zombie bow, and I recommend having some snowballs. It just kind of makes everything more consistent. Um, so yeah, let's head down here. So this dungeon is a very short and simple dungeon. It is very easily farmable, and um, it has a pretty decent legendary now that iframes are fixed. So we're going to head down here. And once you fall down this part right here, you're just going to go ahead and kind of climb up the sides here. Um, it's all you have to do there. Pretty simple room. And then we're going to hit the first actual parkour room, which is a little bit of lava parkour. There are two different ways to go here. I personally like going left or straight. Some people like going right. Uh, I'll be showing the left side here today. Um, everything's pretty simple. As long as this jump, you get the jump kind of late so you don't hit your head on it. And uh, yeah, so it's all pretty simple. Um... And then make sure you go for, uh, well, don't do that. Um, make sure you actually go for the lower um, block there. Let's go ahead and get rid of this fire trick real quick. All right, so what you're going to do, my bad about that, you're going to aim for the lower slab right here, and that's the end of that parkour room. Uh, this parkour room is infamously, like, really uh, kind of toxic. So just kind of follow the route I go. You kind of have to jump a little late on some of these jumps, and then make sure you avoid this ice block right here. You jump into the vines, it's a really easy jump, and then you go on these ladders. You have to kind of shift around the ladder, so what I do is shift, unshift really quickly. You can also do a jump, you can do whatever you want there. Right here, you can just sprint off that block. You come down here, and then it's just a three block one up. So it's pretty simple, uh, just do your uh, inventory trick, whatever you want to do. Um, and then you finish it up. Make sure that you actually hit the uh, lower slab there. And this room is a bunch of pigment spawners, so make sure you kind of it up through here and then we're gonna oh whoa then you're going to go ahead and do this and then you're in the room where it's gonna be kind of wacky to solo so uh, first thing first is there's water right here so if you're waiting for teammates whatever you need to do go ahead and grab water there uh, I'm gonna grab some cookies so you need some junk items here rotten flesh arrows whatever you're gonna throw the item in here it's gonna open up these doors what I like personally doing is stepping on this plate on my way in because it doesn't um, activate for the first time. Um, and then we're gonna wait here and we're gonna wait for a zombie to spawn. This can take, this could be instant or this could take like a couple minutes. Uh, it is really just RNG. I like kind of uh, running around so when the zombie does spawn, he'll be aggroed on me. So I'm gonna go ahead and skip to where a zombie spawns. All right, so we got a zombie spawn. He's gonna walk onto this plate. We're gonna go ahead and kill him right here. Then what you're going to do is you're just going to hunt a zombie bow right in the corner right here. Um, there's a few different strategies to do this room, um, especially the zombie bow not taking arrows anymore. It doesn't really matter um, if you zombie bow this. So I like zombie bow, two zombies here. Oh, as we know, zombie bow is all RNG, so it's not. There we go. So we're just going to shift out of this room. You can snowball if you want, but it doesn't really matter as long as you get out of the room um, without them aggroing too quickly. And then we're going to head out of this door right here. Watch out for the zombie spawners. There's also a pig spawner right here, so be careful of that. We're going to sprint over here. We're going to go in here. We didn't get any pig spawning, which is nice. And then we're going to do the same thing with this door. We're going to wait for the zombie to spawn. Uh, and then it's going to open the door for us. So let's go ahead and wait. All right, that was really quick. So from here, um, what you're going to do is you're kind of take from this corner, and you're kind of going to sprint over. And then the zombies will eventually walk over. What's happening here is the zombies are walking over this plate while you're walking over your plate as well. And that's going to allow you to open up this door. Um, okay, I kind of lied about that part. What happens is that plate on the other side opens up the door on your side. And your plate on your side opens up the door to the other side. So the zombies walking over that plate open the door for you. If you walked over that plate, it opened up the door on the other side. So from here, you're going to come over here. And the way I do this jump right here is pretty interesting. You kind of shift to the very back right here, and you're just going to hold jump, W, and space at the same time, and all you're going to take is one fire tick. Once you step on these, time parkour will spawn on those chiseled stone bricks. And so we're going to go ahead and do that. 
This perk was pretty toxic. So, kind of have to wait a second here. It kind of has a little bit of delay. Uh, for this next part, I like waiting for the second block spawns and then I just kind of go all at the same time. This jump's really toxic because it has a head hitter array up there. So I kind of like taking my uh, a wider angle to hit this. This is just a four block, so do your four block jumps and then watch out for the head hitters right here. Jump a little bit late right there and then here comes the zombie bow setup. So what we're going to do is you're going to stand on this middle line of this um, stone staircase and then you're going to aim right here um, so it's where that line hits the nether brick stairs so right here is a perfect lineup and we're going to keep shooting till we hear the zombie will work okay there's one so what we're going to do here is i personally like snowballing just to make sure and i shift off and you make sure you shift you don't really have to shift if you snowball but i still like doing it just for safety uh, and you just kind of shift over here once you're kind of around this spot you can probably start walking and if you know you got it, that door will be open. You're going to hit this plate. This plate starts a timer with a bunch of pig spawning in this room. And at a certain period of time, the um, door will open. There it is. Run through. Watch out for this room. This spawns uh, damage bots. And that's the whole entire dungeon. Here's your night shadow. And the loot. So yeah, that's all. Um, you know, that was a pretty uh, pretty quick, you know, dungeon tutorial. But I hope you guys uh, enjoyed. Um, Starbridge is a really quick dungeon, so it doesn't really uh, it doesn't really require like a long and depth dungeon guide like some of my others. So hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, go ahead and leave a like, and I'll see you guys next video. Peace.